review I should make for the end of the year. I mean, I've already reviewed everything. I'm out of content, that's why I haven't been uploading very much. But I just need something. Something that will peak. Something that's unique. Damn, bro, this would be the most crowded game store I've been in. This is probably what the old warehouse looked like. Ah, uh, yes, hello, sir. What, uh, what do you want? Yeah, do you possibly have, like, a, like... Something unique, something for the Xbox 360, something that would be cool to, like, talk about. Oh, you want something unique? Uh, yeah, sure. Take this, free, no charge. You're in the movies. That comes with a camera. I already have a camera. Oh, no, the game doesn't work with Kinect, that's why it comes with a camera. Really? It doesn't work with the Kinect? What the fuck? You're telling me Microsoft made two fucking cameras for the 360? One of them's just a webcam, the other one's the fucking Kinect? Well, I mean, it came out first. I mean, I guess this one did come out first. Alright, sure. Yeah. So, uh, you have fun with that. Just, just remember, uh, the shit sucks. It's currently night time, and almost the next year, so why don't we talk about You're in the Movies, which uses the Xbox Live Vision Camera. Yeah, that's what it's called. Really catchy name, isn't it? And this is, just looks like a camera. Yeah. So, I don't know what to say about it. I guess I could tell you a little bit of the history of this camera. So this camera came out before the Xbox Kinect. I think we should all know that, as this is literally just the fucking PlayStation Eye camera. That's what it reminds me of. And honestly, it's cool. I do know for a fact that this thing has only five games that use it as a controller. Those games being Pinball FX 1 and 2. Totem Ball, you're in the movies, and a Rabbits game, which I didn't buy, because I'm not going to fucking buy a Rabbits game. And I should also say, I couldn't get the fucking pinball game to work. <laughs> yeah, I it might have something to do with me needing to buy a pinball table, which, with, with Pinball FX 2, I already have Balls of Glory on my... Xbox One, and I'm not going to buy another fucking $10 pinball table. Just so I can play the fucking Family Guy pinball machine. So yeah. So I couldn't get the controller to work on Pinball FX 1 or 2. And a short little review of the games I could get to work. Totem Ball. Totem Ball fucking sucked. That shit barely worked in the first place. It was hard to control. I hated playing it, and it made me want to cry. And one of the achievements is to literally play a level for like 20 fucking minutes. Fuck you. <laughs> the achievement description literally says, and have your arms not fall off. You can go fuck yourself. So let's talk about You're in the Movies, the game that comes with the fucking camera. As Totem Ball's free, pinball games are pinball games. Pinball. And I'm not buying a fucking Rabbits game to use a shitty camera. So, the real question is, what makes this different from this? Well, this was actually fucking decent. This sucked. And as you're soon going to see from the game footage, I slowly deteriorate throughout the game. And that's because this camera is really bad at scanning the background. Yes, you have to step out of the frame so it can scan the background so you can come back in. It does not do a good job of that. So, yeah. Literally, if you have a lot of stuff in the background, you're going to be slowly deteriorating. If the fucking light level is weird, you're going to slowly deteriorate. This thing barely fucking works. I think even the Germa footage shows this. Yeah, because Germa played it. While with the Kinect, on the other hand, it can actually take you out of the background. How? Because this thing can read your fucking bone structure, as shown in Ghost Adventures of all fucking things. Yeah, 
That's a thing you should realize. The Kinect was used in Ghost Adventures. I'm not fucking kidding. When Ghost Adventures was still on Hulu and it was like sucking fucking season 5 through 12, one of those episodes they introduced using the Xbox Kinect camera to view invisible bone structure. It's fucking insane. And they even made an entire device so they didn't have to lug around an entire goddamn 360 to use it. And if you think I'm bullshitting, here's a fucking clip. Bill has brought along a newly modified Microsoft Kinect camera system. By sending out a light pattern and then looking at how that light pattern is received back to the cameras, the uh, computer can actually interpret distance and shapes. So what am I looking for in terms of spirits or ghosts? Well, what you're looking for is to map something like we're seeing here when no one's in front. Okay. So what, when that's happening, traditionally what we'll see is just the skeletal figure but no outline. Of the okay. Ghost Adventures was some fucking else. But yeah, not, not only that, this tool is actually, this, I'm going to call this thing a tool because that's what it is. This tool was used for 3D scanning. Yeah, the popular program used with it is Skinect, which I actually used to use until I realized that all the models came out really shitty and I realized that I wasted $100 on it. But still, like this was used for 3D scanning. Now, of course, I use my phone now, but still, like this has a lot of opportunities. I've seen people mod this shit to work with VR chat. That's how crazy the connect is. Now this camera, this camera has the same camera quality as my 2016 fucking YouTube videos. Yeah, go back and watch my old videos and they both look like they have the same goddamn camera quality. This can properly get you out of the background because it has two cameras which can see from two different eyes. This only has one has to stand in the background making you fucking become Adam. So let's plug this shit in and play fucking You're in the Movies. So You're in the Movie starts off with a funny little intro of a soldier man telling the rules, a gay dinosaur, a perverted little puffball, and a woman. Yeah, all the bad things that make this game very, very stereotypical. And the intro is actually incredibly fucking boring. It's supposed to be funny, like the girl steps on the dinosaur's fucking foot and he starts running around like a crazed maniac and fucking wear a shirt so you... Don't look like the background. I, you know, as a white guy with white walls, it's sort of hard to do. And the thing you need to realize about this game, this game works best if you have a green screen. Something that nothing tells you to use except for the front of the fucking box. Yeah, if you don't have a green screen, you're going to be really bad at this shit. So, playing the game... It's, it's your average, you know, game that would use a shitty camera. Like, you just, you do, you just do what the game tells you. You get points, you become a star, and then stuff. There's not really much to it. Now, the mini games, the mini games are fine when they fucking work. Again, with your body slowly deteriorating, some of them don't work, and the camera's low ass frame rate some mini games are goddamn hard to play really fast um the wasp swatting game 
doesn't fucking work if you're moving your arms too fast. So you have to slowly move your hand. You can't go fast because of you can't shitty fucking frame rate and you fucking slowly disappearing from the background. And this game is also recommended to play with friends. It automatically selects four player. Now, I don't know who the fuck's going to get four players to play this one 360 game, but that's that's too much. Yeah, I feel like it should have automatically selected like two player or something. But yeah, the game is recommended to play with multiple players. But really, what game isn't? Fucking Minecraft recommends that you play with multiplayer. It automatically turns on online game. Fucking... So, playing... Now, playing the game, it's fine. It's it's a fun little experience. It's something that I would only want to experience once a month. Now, would I recommend it? No, I would not. Now, would I recommend this game? I mean, this is the only game that uses this fucking camera. And let me tell you, if you want to make, like, dumb little meme videos with a sh shitty camera, it's a pretty decent camera to use with shitty stuff. It does not come in with a built-in microphone, which I find really funny. Now, of course, now of course, I have a little ceremony to get to because I happen to beat the game. Next year, which means I've been technically playing this game for a year. 